Hey everyone, it's your girl Layla. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Spooktober episode 2. I'm really really hoping that I was able to include my new intro into this video. I'm just having some issues with my Mac right now. As usual, I was unable to download music for the longest time and have it play on iTunes and then like my iMovie wasn't working well. Like it's just been a lot of technical difficulties. So I'm really hoping this video number one gets up on time and number two that I have my new intro up for this video. By the way, if you guys are not already subscribed, please go ahead, click the subscribe button below. I upload three times a week, Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. And of course, all of October, every Wednesday will be an episode of Spooktober. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the Craig Derrick Castle in Victoria, BC. So I visited this beautiful, beautiful castle at the end of August when I was in Victoria. I was only there for about a day and a half. I wasn't actually in the city of Victoria, but we were traveling around the island. And on our very last day, I was like, I just need to visit this one haunted place so I have something to post for Spooktober. So Andy agreed, we went there. We did not get to do the tour of the inside, unfortunately. The tours close very early in the day. I think if you wanna do a tour here, you have to go before three or like they close at three, something weird like that. But we got there after four, so they were of course already shut down, but you can actually visit the grounds. There was a lot of people just taking photos of the outside and you know, I got somewhat of a tour for you guys, but I'm hoping that next year I actually get to go inside the castle because I think that would be so cool. So let's first talk about the history of Craig Derrick Castle. The Craig Derrick Castle was built between 1887 and 1890. It is a whopping 39 bedroom. You heard me, 39 bedroom, 25,000 square feet castle in Victoria, BC. 39 bedrooms, you guys, how I, how would you need that many bedrooms in your house? That is just insane. And no, this wasn't a castle that was built for a prince, but it was actually built for British Columbia's first millionaire named Robert Dunsmere and his wife, Joan Dunsmere. The castle overlooks the city of Victoria. The castle's construction was said to have cost $500,000. That is wild. You could have built a castle back in the late 1800s for 500K. That's the price of a modern day house right now. That's the price of my house right now. So this castle cost $500,000 to build. It consists of granite from British Columbia, as well as tiles from San Francisco. The staircase was built in Chicago and it consisted of 28 acres full of gardens, which are not actually there today. Uh, it's actually now a community that's built around this castle. It does have a really, really big yard, I guess. It definitely has grounds around the castle. It's not just a castle surrounded by a bunch of houses, but there's definitely not 28 acres of gardens around the castle today. Robert Dunsmere unfortunately died 17 months before the castle was complete. It was roughly half finished at this time, but Robert's sons made sure that the castle was completely fully built as part of their father's legacy and his widow Joan actually lived in the castle up until her death in 1908. The castle was then sold to an investor for $38,000. That's crazy. I just, just thinking about the prices, like it cost 500K to build, it was sold for 38,000 to an investor. This castle is, again, 25,000 square feet with 39 bedrooms. Just think about how cheap that actually is but you know of course this was the early 1900s at this point the dunsmere family was unfortunately plagued by a lot of deaths william like i mentioned earlier passed away before the castle was even completed but his architect also passed away soon after he did. Robert and Joan had 11 children, but only 10 made it to adulthood. One of his daughters passed away as a child. Another one of his daughters passed away soon after 
Robert himself passed away and also one of his sons had passed away during his honeymoon not long after Robert and his daughter did. There was always constant fighting in the Craig Derrick castle between Joan and her sons. So this made for really, really active ghosts in the Craig Derrick castle. Now let's get into the hauntings of the Craig Derrick castle. Visitors of the castle have reported hearing whispers, a child crying, as well as a piano playing. And now there is no pianos at all in the Craig Derrick Castle, but the sound of a piano is a very, very common occurrence. So also, there's a famous ghost of Joan Dunsmere herself. She's only spotted in one section of the castle, which is the main staircase. She's never spotted going up the stairs or any part of the building besides on the main staircase, wearing a beautiful ball gown and walking down the stairs. A child haunts the basement of the castle and this is believed to be the daughter of Joan, the one that passed away in her childhood. And this ghost is very, very shy. She can be heard laughing as well as crying in the basement. And whenever she's approached, her apparition disappears. There's also the scent of burning candles, objects moving around by themselves, as well as random cold spots in different areas of the castle. People have also reported seeing a little girl running around the castle, as well as a maid, as well as women's footsteps running down the stairs. Could it be Joan, I wonder? This castle is dubbed as one of the most haunted castles in British Columbia. When I actually read this, I was very confused. I was like, is there multiple haunted castles in British Columbia? Where are the other castles that I haven't seen or haven't even heard of or been to? But there is actually a list online and there's there's actually plenty of haunted castles in British Columbia, so if that is your thing and you like ghost hunting, there's plenty more haunted castles in British Columbia and it surprised me. Now because the Craig Derrick castle is so spooky, it's been in multiple films, so you might have actually seen it on TV at some point in time. Spooksville, a TV show, was filmed there. A movie called The Boy. Little Women and The Amazing Race Canada all had the Craig Derrick Castle as one of their filming locations. The building has had many purposes throughout the years, not just as a filming location, not just as a historic building, but in 1919, this building actually served as a military hospital. Then it was converted into a college and then some offices. Can you imagine having an office in a castle? <laughs> At another point in time, it was also a conservatory before eventually in 1979, it was converted into a museum slash historic building. To this day, you can actually tour the Craig Derrick Castle. Like I mentioned earlier, I wanted to go inside and do a tour, but they close really early. So they do ghostly tours around the spooky season. Like now would have been the perfect time to go as well as normal tours throughout the rest of the year where you can, you know, experience some history and look around the castle. I really love looking at old buildings like that. Like I toured the Lougheed House, which is also a haunted historic building here in Calgary in a different Spooktober video a couple years ago. So I just love doing these tours. I think that they're really, really cool. And you get to just see some, you know, architecture from the early 1900s as well as see furniture from back then. It's pretty awesome. So that is it for my video on the Craig Derrick Castle. Without further ado, let's get into the tour and the footage that I managed to take while I was in Victoria. So let's roll that now. Hey guys, so for the second episode of Spooktober, we are at the Craig Duro Castle here in Victoria, BC. Oh my God.
so unfortunately today we couldn't do the tour because we got back here too late i think they closed pretty early at 3 30 and we're actually headed back to vancouver tonight on like the last ferry so i was unable to give you a tour of the inside but i'm showing you guys the outside and giving you guys a history of this place but it's absolutely gorgeous i would love to live here and <laughs> be a princess I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed filming it for you. I really enjoyed, you know, going to the castle and seeing it in person. It was just such a beautiful, beautiful building to go to and I really wish that I could have gone inside for the 300th time. I really do wish I could have gone inside to look at it because the outside was so beautiful. I'm sure the inside was even more beautiful. So that is pretty much it for this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already. I upload three times a week. Week, Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I encourage you guys to get out there and experience some spooky things this spooky season. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!